Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine reading. Um, we're going to be having a look and see what's coming up around Divine Masculine, their thoughts and feelings, and what's coming up around your current situation. So um, this can be for any sign watching, uh, and there may be something here that resonates with your current love situation. So try to keep an open mind with these messages. Um, hopefully there is something here for you. Um, but don't forget to drop a like, share, or subscribe if you like this content. Um, that would be very much appreciated. Let's jump into the reading and see what, what comes up, okay? Let's get the overall energy first. I feel like two cards are coming out with overall energy, so we're going to go with those. So we've got the Eight of Swords and the Four of Wands. Okay. Anxious and curious. Okay. Um, someone's trapped in their thoughts about you or about a situation. There might be something on Divine Masculine's mind and they're, they're not communicating that with you. They're not telling you. Um, it may be marriage. We've got the Four of Wands card. Now, four of ones can often represent a marriage like the traditional relationship. So overall energy is someone is curious about a long-term future with you, but they're anxious and excited in a good way. So this is really beautiful. This is someone out here of a divine femme, someone out here who's realizing they want to marry you, realizing they could spend the rest of their life with you. They're trapped in their thoughts about it now, so it's not something they're going to reveal but I feel the overall energy is, you know, you might have them feeling really scared. Like maybe they never wanted commitment. They weren't a marriage person. And then suddenly they're like, you know, this is the person I want to ride the waves with. I want to go through the good and bad with them. I want to be their ride or die, you know. And this person may even have like tried to move on from you and move on from the situation. But underneath it all, they can't seem to do that. Okay, so that, that we have the overall energy. They definitely want to move forward. Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, there's marriage or proposal. There's definitely someone here who's wanting that. Okay, the Fool is also here. Could be Aries coming up. Um, okay, I feel like this is someone who's scared to lose you. This is someone who, okay, they want a beginning or it's like this person knows if they want to come back to you, they've got to come back bigger and stronger and better than ever. And I feel like there might be someone coming back with a proposal here. So if you haven't been with this person, there may be someone, especially if they're sort of realizing what it is that they're wanting from you. Okay, Six of Swords, they feel like they're on a journey with you. So I feel like they want, their thoughts are sort of directing them. And, you know, that you can see these birds here that are guiding the boat. Birds are messengers. So this is communication. Um, so pay attention to the things they're asking you and they're saying to you, because that could be clues as to, you know, them being excited and anxious, maybe to marry you. Um, like, it's like they might ask you, you know, how would you like to be proposed to? Um, or what's your dream, you know, marriage, uh, wedding? Um, how did you see yourself, you know, when did you see yourself settling down? There's a curiosity. And that curiosity is going to drive them, albeit very subtly, to start to poke and prod and pry and ask about these sorts of things. And that's because they want to get, they want to get some answers. Okay, that curiosity... Again, it, it, it might not be overly obvious, but I feel like with the full, they're going to sort of test those waters here. Ace of Cups, they're definitely thinking about marriage. What else is coming up? Okay, Five of Pentacles. Okay, Hermit. And we've got the Lovers. This is the person you could end up with. There is definitely a marriage coming in and a happily ever after between you and this person. You guys are like wrapped up in each other's arms. Isn't that beautiful? 
Um, we've got the Hermit here. So Gemini, Virgo have come up. Five of Pentacles. It's like this person... I don't know if like they can't afford it or they're not, you're, you might not be in the situation you want to be physically like with the five of pentacles. You might not be living together. You might not be in the same country. Um, you might not have been in a relationship for that long, but that is not enough to deter this person. So I get a vibe that sometimes they feel like, oh, you know, you haven't been with each other long enough, but to them, that doesn't seem to matter. To them, they want to move on with that. Again, there's... A lot of communication coming up. Gemini and Virgo are both ruled by the planet Mercury, the god of communication, the planet of communication. So um, there's going to be a lot. Now, communication comes in many forms, so you'll have to pay attention to the verbal, nonverbal, you know, uh, all those sorts of different types of communication because it's going to sort of point to where this divine masculine is at. Um and they're feeling like they could see a future with you. They're anxious and excited. And they could be so overwhelmed with feeling that they don't know how to react to it. They're like, you know, what's going on? Why am I feeling this way? Um, and all these sorts of things. So two fives and two sixes. A five is a number of important decisions. So Divine Masculine has an important decision to make. Six is about intuition. So that could be important. Five and six are around Divine Masculine, which could indicate they have an important decision to make about your relationship, which could, you know, this is the long-term future. This is a serious thing. Um, so, you know, they seriously might want to marry you and settle down with you. So that's the big decision. And they're trying to use their intuition to guide them in making that big decision. Um, I also feel like maybe Divine Femme, your intuition is telling you this as well. You've sort of maybe picked up on these subtle cues. Um, you've picked on them, you've picked up on them quite well. Uh, and I feel like you sort of, on some level, you sort of have some knowledge of this, or maybe it's coming to you intuitively through thoughts, dreams, premonitions, etc. It's very likely that that could take place. Uh, but overall, I'm seeing that someone is seriously, you know, they think you're their soulmate. They don't want nobody else. I don't think they're even curious to date anybody else. There might have been someone else around them with the Ace of Cups, but they're not you. Um, they don't have your love and your affection and your care and your personality and your history, your memories, the things that you do for this person that no one else could. It's like... You don't even compare to anyone else they're thinking about or talking to or seeing because you just win any competition against anyone else. So, you know, look at that. The Hermit journeys towards the Six of Swords. They're ready. They're ready for a big commitment. Um, and that's because of the bond that you guys share with that Lover's card, Soulmate, Twin Flame, Past Life Connection. The two of you belong together, and it might even be that Divine Masculine wants to tell you this. Um, but again, they're trapped in their thoughts. But they're, they're happy with your relationship. You give them a happiness they've never had before, or they've never felt before. So, I mean, this is a really beautiful reading. Um, let's see what else comes up in the cards over here, shall we? Okay, Seven of Wands were reversed. They're not putting up much resistance. So if you're telling them to do something, you're telling them to change. They're not putting up a fight. They're not trying to argue with you. This is a good thing. I would say it's a good, um, it's, it's in terms of action, it shows that behavior-wise they're, they're committing much more than previously. Um, we've got the Seven of Swords here as well. Again, I get the notion of being trapped in thought, um, being anxious, carried away. I really feel like this this fear is that maybe you'll reject them or maybe you'll say no to this kind of commitment, um, especially if you haven't spoken about this stuff before or it's very early on in their relationship. They don't really know what it is that you're wanting, what you're expecting, what you want for your future. They've been thinking about it a lot, though. The Queen of Swords is here. This may come up in communication, but like I said, there is an important question that they want to ask you. Um... You know, and 
how exciting. I think it's really encouraging to see Seven of Wands reversed. So they might have tried to like resist you. Um, you know, maybe their friend said, don't talk, don't talk to them anymore. You know, they're not good for you or, you know, um, don't move in with them or don't do this or don't do that. Finally, I feel like they're coming, you know, the, the, the fool is here sitting right in the middle of the spread and the fool submits to anything that comes his way, what the universe serves up for him. And in a way, it could be that this person is finally surrendering to love. You know, they're not putting up that wall anymore. The wall that's been hard to get to, you know, maybe you've tried to live with them or be with them or, you know, you've tried for them to be loyal to you or you've done a lot. You've put a lot of effort into this to see that from them. And you maybe you haven't seen that in a while. And then suddenly, you know, this person is no longer putting up that resistance. So... The walls are coming down and they're no longer blaming you for things. I don't know if there was a conversation. We've got the arrow, um, but she sort of put it down. She's not pointing it at anyone. So especially if this has been like the blame game um, or like they, they, like they say things or they used to say things like, oh, you made me live with you. You made me do this. You made me do that. You made me do that. You know, they're dropping that resistance um, and suddenly they're realizing that they did what they wanted to do on some level, you know, it wasn't just you, they were involved as well. It took the both of you to build this relationship and, and make it what it was and what it is. Um, so I feel like they're coming in with that realization as well. And that has some things with dropping, dropping that guard. Okay. Five of swords reversed. Um, nine of cups reversed. There's a, a wish, something that they're wishing about you that's still unfulfilled. It might be something they wanted you to do or say. Maybe you want they've always wanted you to meet their friends or their family or move to the country with them or move overseas or get a job that's closer to them. There's a wish that's still unfulfilled on their end, okay? Um, Five of Swords is reversed, which is good. Five of Swords is like battling and arguing and, you know, there's someone who's done arguing. They're done with all of that. They want to put it to the past, Again, five is this reoccurring number. So there's big, big decisions this person wants to make with you. Um, okay, we also have a couple of sevens. But I think five of swords, sort of they, they don't want to bring in toxic energy anymore. They, don't, they want to be in a healthier place with you, especially because they're starting to think long term. So now they're like, all right, I can't argue back. I can't just block. I can't just do X, Y, and Z because they're realizing it's not moving the relationship forward. Maybe they're realizing that in mature ways. Okay, so DM could definitely be maturing. Okay, a lot of maturing could happen here. Um, you know, we, we do have new beginnings, the full. We've got the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups can be like an emotional new beginning. Um, you know, emotional maturity, like, um, you know, changes changes to the emotional realm. So maybe this is a lot of progress that's happening in a short amount of time. And again, it's being, remember that overall energy is being induced by fear of you not wanting to commit to them maybe, or fear of losing you, um, or anxiousness because they suddenly want this, you know, they've never had this clear vision or a realization or epiphany that they've you know they've never wanted you this badly before type thing and they seriously want commitment here with you i will leave it at that so thank you again everyone for tuning in i do hope this reading has been helpful if you enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like um share or subscribe to the channel that would be lovely otherwise well i'm sure we'll catch uh, up very very soon so thanks again everyone bye for now